Hey guys, today on One Road, we're gonna be looking at clay bars. And in particular, whether or not this is a viable alternative to your standard clay bar we all know and love. <laughs> All right, so this stuff is called Plumber's Putty. You can buy it at your local home hardware store. It's extremely cheap. This stuff is very soft. It's very easily molded and shaped. I mean, extremely soft. Softer than a clay bar, in fact. I went to my local big box store and picked up this Mother's California Gold Dual Clay Bar Kit. This thing was roughly $15, so not extremely expensive. For the $15, you're getting two of these clay bars, which are a decent size. You're also getting this Mother's Instant Detailer that they're wanting you to use as a lubricant for the clay bars. They include a Mother's Microfiber Towel, which is pretty nice. Now, this Mother's Clay is very pliable, but not as pliable as the plumber's putty. It's a little bit more stiff. It's also a lot more sticky. I don't know if that's part of how this thing works, but it's very, very sticky clay. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Why even test this? The clay bars are cheap enough, especially for how long those clay bars last. It's not really that big of a deal. Well, for me and for I'm sure many of you, we are very frugal. I like to save money anywhere I can. And while I do think that that mother's clay bar kit is awesome and it's very well priced. I'm really curious if this plumber's putty will do the same job and do it safely. One of the things that really intrigues me with this plumber's putty other than its price is the fact that it's so soft. In my mind it seems like the softer material that you have the safer it would be on your paint. Able to soak up any of the foreign material on your paint and to not then scratch the paint as you use it. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys this mother's clay bar kit that I just bought is the first clay bar kit that I've ever used and I went across and clay barred this entire hood and it was very easy and turned out great. The paint is now extremely smooth. I'm really happy with the results and that's good because this gives me a baseline to test this plumber's putty against. So now that the hood's done, I'm gonna work on this front fender and the passenger side front door. Also for the lube, instead of using the Mother's Instant Detailer that came with the clay bar kit, I'm just gonna use this solution of water mixed with Meguiar's wash and wax. So the first thing I need to do is clean off this panel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this thing down. I will use my nice microfiber towel to dry it. I have to admit, this paint is already in very good condition. It's already very smooth to the touch and doesn't necessarily feel like it needs to be clay barred. There's little things like this little spot here you can hopefully see, but nothing major. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and test it on my car and see if it leaves any scratches or anything behind. All right, so here's the piece of plumber's putty that I'm gonna be using as a clay bar. And I'll first go ahead and lube up the area and you simply just start rubbing it down and it is very smooth, very smooth. I don't feel it pulling up anything. It's not getting stuck on anything gritty. Very, very smooth here. Here's what the surface of that putty now looks like. The goal here is just to pick up anything that I can't really see or feel with my eye or my hand. What's interesting is as you do this, you kind of get to know your paint a lot better. You know, you'll end up seeing a lot of things in your paint that you never knew were there. So on one hand, it's good because you kind of can pay attention to those areas and, you know, address them as needed. But on the other hand, you kind of start going, man, my paint's not as good as I thought it was. All right, guys, so here's the putty afterward. Still very easy to mold, still in really good shape. So now I'll just grab my spray bottle Spray it down and wipe it down again. All right, now that it's dry, I can tell you the paint is extremely smooth. And I was saying before, the paint was already smooth before I even started this, but uh, I do have to say it does feel really, really good. Now, looking in the light with the reflection on the fender, I don't see any sort of scratches or anything like that that could have come up with the process of using that plumber's putty. Now, I do realize a lot of this is really just you guys taking my word for it, but when I did this whole hood, the clay bar worked great. Everything came out fantastic. And I have to say, just in my experience here, I'm getting the same result with the plumber's putty. I didn't feel any sort of scratching or anything like that. Everything felt completely smooth. And afterward, this paint just feels nice, and smooth. Now feeling the hood here, I can feel it's extremely smooth. 
and it's also not making any sounds. When I feel the fender here, it's smooth, but I can hear it. Now I'm suspecting that's because on the hood, I applied this new finish after I was done with the clay bar. That's also what I'm gonna do right now on this fender. I have my new finish here on a really damp rag. Let me go ahead and try to somewhat sparingly wipe it over this fender, all over this fender flare. And what you're really supposed to do is put this stuff on thin enough with a damp enough rag that it goes on very thin and starts to dry before you're even done putting it on the panel. That way you can immediately grab your microfiber towel and start buffing it off. I'm also going to use a somewhat damp microfiber towel to buff it off. I can see that mine is just about ready to be buffed off and I'm going to do that right now. And I'll go ahead and take a completely dry microfiber and just go over it one quick last time, just to make sure I didn't leave any sort of residue on there. All right, guys, well, this is white, so it's hard to see, I get it, but this is looking fantastic, very shiny, and oh, very smooth. It now feels just the same as the hood, Okay guys, so we just did this passenger front door with the plumber's putty, and what I'm gonna do now is the same thing using the soapy water solution, but now we're gonna use the mother's clay bar on this passenger rear door. Right away, I can tell you this clay bar is super sticky and just has a completely different feeling to it than the plumber's putty, but of course that's to be expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this thing down liberally and start Play bar in the panel. The thing that scares me about this one is I can hear it as I slide it across the paint. To me, the reason why that scares me is because, I don't know, say this clay bar picks up something out of the paint. Is that, you know, firmness of the clay bar going to then kind of take that contaminant and just let it scratch through my paint as I work it around? I don't know, in my brain that makes sense, but I mean, obviously they've been using clay bars for a long time, so I'm sure they've figured that out. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over just cause I can hear it like I'm telling you, I can hear it. Not pressing very hard and I'm sacrificing my door here on my uh, Suburban just so maybe you guys won't have to on your end. Now there already is a lot of scratches in this paint you know, my micro scratches, but I can definitely see them in the right light. Not gonna blame any scratches on this clay bar. I already kind of pre-looked at it, unless I can see something that looks absolutely obvious that I just did, but this panel was already cleaned off before I started clay barring it. So we'll see what happens here. You know, it's also very, very smooth. The clay is pliable, just obviously not as much as the plumber's putty, but it does flatten out pretty quick and it gets nice and smooth. It's so weird guys, it's almost like I can uh, hear my paint being scratched. I really hope that's not the case. I hope that it's just kind of simply the way this stuff works and sounds as you use it, but I'm trying to keep it very, very well lubricated. But I can definitely hear it. The plumber's putty, I couldn't hear anything. I don't know, does that mean the plumber's putty actually wasn't working? Or does that mean that this stuff is potentially scratching my paint? I guess we'll see. I did get a, a before look with my own eye and the light on this door panel right in the center of it. So we'll see what it looks like when I'm done here. Hopefully uh, I didn't uh, scratch this thing all up. All right, so we're, uh, I already wiped it down with a damp cloth. Now I'm wiping it down with my dry microfiber. And it is feeling nice and smooth. All right, guys, again, this paint feels very smooth on this passenger rear door. I don't feel any sort of contaminants or anything like that. When I look against the light, I do see some surface scratching from the previous owner, but I don't see anything that I did. I don't see any apparent scratch marks or anything that uh, I would have caused. I mostly see swirling type scratch marks, which were from somebody using the wrong type of rag or whatever when they washed it. And the last thing I'm gonna do here just to make it even, is go ahead and wipe on 
some new finish all over the whole panel. All right, we are protected at this point. Just buffed it all off, and now I'm gonna go back over it one last time with my dry microfiber. And I can tell you right now, this paint, as you would expect, is very, very smooth. Very smooth, feels like butter. Nothing catching at all. Just feels very, very slick and very protected, which is good. All right, and here we are again, feeling this paint. It feels fantastic. All right, guys, well, I hope that helps some of you out there, some of you frugal money savers like me, just looking to save a buck here and there. Uh, as far as the final product, I don't see a difference between the plumber's putty or the mother's clay bar. As for in use, again, you're gonna use it exactly the same way. You're gonna keep it well lubricated and you're just gonna work that putty or clay around the paint. Now with the putty, the only difference is you're gonna have to ball it up probably twice as much as you would with the clay. And that's just because it's so soft that it actually starts kind of falling apart. But it only takes two seconds to make it into a ball again and then you're good to go. For me, in my experience here, I didn't see any apparent scratches that I would have put in this paint with the plumber's putty. And I didn't see any apparent scratches I would have put in the paint with the Mother's Clay Bar. So while I still very much so like this Mother's 2 Clay Bar kit, and I feel like it's very well priced, I would have to say that you probably could substitute that for plumber's putty. At least have some on hand in case you run out of the clay bar. Well guys, as you probably know, I am not a professional detailer. I don't know if there's something within that plumber's putty, some kind of compound or chemical or something like that that's gonna cause me problems with my paint later on down the road. All I can tell you is my experience seems like that plumber's putty is great for doing what the clay bar would do. Which one would I buy if I had to? I'd probably, for me, I'd probably buy that plumber's putty. It's cheap and it's readily available and it seems like it gets the job done perfectly fine. But I still really do like that mother's clay bar kit and I feel like it is a good value. You do get two pretty good sized clay bars in there along with their instant detailer. I don't think you're gonna wanna sit there and buy instant detailer to lubricate your clay bar the whole time because you'll run through that stuff quickly and that will get expensive. For me, I chose to use this really soapy water and that seemed to do the trick just fine. All right, well, I'm stoked I got to share this with you. I've been waiting to do this for a long time. I had that plumber's putty on my shelf for quite a while. I finally got around to picking up this mother's clay bar kit and now I was able to film this video for you. I really do hope that some of you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. Please also check the description below. I'll put links to this plumber's putty and also to the clay bar kit that I used, as well as to my website and Instagram account. If you're a subscriber, thank you for watching this video. And if you're not, please hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? All right, guys, I'm Jimmy again. This is One Road, and I will see you in the next one.